going on, Nissan Nation? From all things Nissan here in my studios to wherever you're watching us around the globe, this is your Nissan Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. So, it's Christmas time. You know, it's it's time for family, right? And our family seems to be the uh, Nissan brand, and I'm excited to talk the Nissan brand, and there's a couple questions I get more than anything, and we're going to jump into it in just a second. But first, if you have not, Smash that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 5,000 subs by January. So I don't care when in January, but I'd like to hit it by January. And with your help and your support, we can do that. Also, when you hit the like button, it tells people who may not know about the channel, hey, these Nissan people like this Nissan content. Maybe we should share it somewhere else. And uh, with your help, we can do that. So thank you very much to everybody who has made 2020 a great year for the channel, even though it's been a horrible year for the world so Nissan Pathfinder that's right Nissan Pathfinder we uh, once again I get this I think almost more than Frontier I get questions about hey when are we gonna see the next Pathfinder and I've got it and we're gonna talk about it in just a second but also Frontier that's right I get Frontier questions probably the second most thing I get questions about with uh, hey do your insiders can they tell us anything about Frontier you guys know we broke the news in January or I'm sorry April about the uh, the potential of a Nismo Frontier and uh, we dropped that picture on the world and uh, some people went crazy about that and thank you for all who have watched that but let's just jump into this video and uh, let's talk about what we know and what could be coming like this soon all right, we'll start off with the Nissan Pathfinder. Uh, more, Like I said earlier, more than anything, I get a lot of response about the Pathfinder. And one of my older Pathfinder videos is still one of my top-ranked videos for the channel, which is strikes me funny because I, this Pathfinder gets kind of a lot of crap. They People want to call it, oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a soccer mom car or it's this and that. But there's a lot of interest in this vehicle for Nissan because, yeah, for one, it's got the kind of heritage of the Pathfinder name. But... With this, the the current generation, it handled more like a car, you know, and, and that's the best of both worlds. People want something big and, and heavy uh, to feel like a truck, but they wanted to drive like the cars they were used to. And I think that's where the Pathfinder really wins out. And they sell quite a bit of this thing, you know, for everybody, all the fanboys to give Nissan crap about, oh, that's not a real Pathfinder. That's not this or that. They don't care because they're selling a lot of this vehicle. And that's that's the name of the game is uh, produce something that people buy. And uh, I think this picture was snapped for me uh, here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, a buddy of mine sent this over to me, and it's not a bad, not a bad picture. You're gonna once again, you're gonna see the the sheet uh, kind of unveiled of this thing in January. That's right, uh, middle of January. We're gonna see this thing, and I'm I'm super pumped. I, I we've showed this picture before. I think this thing is. Um, I think the outside is going to be, you know, a nice refresh, but the inside of this vehicle is where it's really going to win out. And if you've seen the Rogue, if you've just seen the the lower trim Rogues, the interior of them are super nice, let alone the Platinum Edition of this. And I think the Platinum Edition that you'll see of this thing is going to be just, just super, super nice. And I told, I was told by someone within Nissan that the idea for this vehicle was they wanted to step it up a little bit and and not compete in the uh, Land Rover, Range Rover area, but they wanted to bump the, the Pathfinder up. Um, now, what does that do for Infinity? I mean, if you're taking this thing and bumping it up, where where does that leave Infinity with the, the, uh, the QX uh, 60? Only time will tell on that because we've seen a bunch of a bunch of little photos coming out of that, and the interiors that I have seen of that are freaking amazing. So, and what I know of this one is amazing, like, it could be good times for Nissan in, in this uh, this uh, generation of SUV. Now let's get into the Frontier, and this is no secret. Autobogs has this had this photo out a couple months ago, um, but the Frontier is due out around the same time as the Pathfinder. That's right, middle of January. I'm being told we are going to see this, and I've had a ton of people hitting me up, Dave. Dave, when are we going to see the Frontier? The Nissan's been waiting too long, and guys. Whether we like it or not, COVID has just destroyed everybody's plans. It could be just your household where you're going on vacation or whatever. Well, imagine what it does to these these trillion dollar companies who have all this money invested in them. There's release dates, and they trust me. Nissan wants these things out. Like they need them out. Nissan needs a couple of big hits, and I think that the Frontier will be a big hit. Now, I've given this interior kind of some grief, and. I, I loved my Titan. Once again, I loved, I think my Titan was a, a freaking, I always said it, the interior is what sold me that vehicle. 
once again, this thing is very, very Titan like. You can even see in the, the gauge cluster what barely you can see of it. That's all Titan. Like the steering wheel, that's all Titan. This uh the nine inch screen is all Titan in this thing. The layout is all Titan, but but that's okay because I think the inside of the Titan is a very, very nice vehicle. And it's the outside of this thing where where the the kind of the money is for Nissan. And once again, we've shown this picture before. This was sent to us uh by a viewer, and I appreciate that. This thing, I believe, is the Pro 4X uh, version of it. You can see it's lifted compared to the one behind it. But I think the outside of this thing is, is where the money is going to be made on this vehicle. And, and you can look at Toyota and everybody. Like, uh, There's very few manufacturers, like the Ranger right now. I think the interior of the Ranger is just bland. I think that it was so minimal effort put into that thing because they knew the outside of it. People had seen the outside of that thing forever. That that I really, in my opinion, it's probably like like... 80 20 of what sells vehicles if the outside looks cool the inside has you know modern features but i think that that's where uh nissan's going to win out with this thing and i i feel like this thing is going to be pretty uh especially the off-road package version is going to be pretty pretty bulky and i'm reported this before but i believe they're going to do just like nissan has done with uh the titan now starting in 2020 that each trim is going to kind of get its own grill kind of its own little bit of a unique look and I believe that I believe you can see it in this photo if you look at the one in the back the grill looks a little thinner where this one's a little more bulky and I believe we're going to obviously well, I won't say obviously looks like we're getting a different bumper package if you look at the one behind it and this one and that's what makes me believe this is the Pro 4X but once again you guys leave comments in you know below but the biggest part of this is middle of January we are finally going to get the next uh the next trucks are you excited I know I am so Let's see. There we go. 2020 has come to a close, but that doesn't mean the start of 2021 isn't going to be badass with a new Pathfinder and Frontier being revealed super, super soon. Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys excited about this or are you just burnt out? I know I see Frontier. I see the comments on our Frontier content where it's just like, Nissan needs to drop this already. Nissan needs to drop this already. Guys, we've had a crazy 2020, man. And everything, you know, everything's been 90 days or even more than that. And Lord knows right now with uh, the thing we can't talk about, it can have, it, it, plants can shut down like that, just like that. So uh, fingers crossed that everything goes to plan for January and we get to see some really kick-ass trucks. So from all things Nissan, from my studios to wherever you're watching us around the globe, this is your Nissan Nation and I'm merely your host, David Boyd. Peace, everybody. Love y'all. Thank you.